So one of my favorite things to do in my edits, one of the most fun ways to edit is to do really quick jump cuts. I mean, you can see these in vlogs like Casey Neistat's. Vanilla the chocolate. Thank you. You can see them in videos by the Michelax. <laughs> and they're all over the place. I'll usually use it if there's something that happens over the course of kind of a long period of time that I wanna show in a few seconds. But I don't wanna do like a time-lapse kind of thing and I feel it's just a lot more visually interesting and you can incorporate sound a lot more than if you were to do a time-lapse. So let's take a look at one that I recently did. So this was a robotics video that I recently put up. Um, this is me kind of talking about what's happening in robotics. And right here is where the students are gonna start cleaning, uh, organizing the room. It usually takes about five minutes to rearrange the room um, for class. So let's take a look at the final product. Some of the products that the kids are making with their final projects. And it's right there. So here's the original clip. Obviously not nearly as interesting. And here's how I go about doing that. The first thing I do is I kind of make, I want to look at my sounds. The, sound, the, 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 the spots that I hit, I'm going to turn the music off for a little bit. You'll notice that you'll hear each new clip is kind of like some sound of the, the, the chair hitting the table or something like that. Um, it makes for a little bit more interesting shot if it's if you're getting uh, a new different sound in there. So I look through my audio right here um, and try to find peaks. Uh, so first, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in. I zoomed in. Um, I think the normal quick key is the plus and the minus buttons, but I changed them to one and two, so that way I could use my left hand on that and my right hand on the mouse. Uh, and then I'm going to use the razor tool um, using this turn, uh, control C or not control Z, just hitting the C button. And then I'm going to I'm not going to cut anything out yet. I'm just going to find my next sound. All right, right there. Cut right there. Uh, that could be an interesting one. It's kind of a lower sound. That one's nice and loud. I cut right before the sound, so that one's all right. And I'm just looking to see more of what peaks on the audio levels. So yeah, that's a good one. All right, so I'm gonna go through that and I'm gonna find all the different spots that have a good sound. Okay, so you can see I haven't actually cut anything out yet. I've just gone in and used the razor tool on each one of those spots. And if you zoom in, you can see they're right before usually some peaks in sound. Um, and so now here's the part. I want a little bit of an intro so you can see that I'm walking outside about to let the students in. And so let's say I want it to start right there. I'm going to put cut right here um, and a cool little quick key instead of deleting and then highlighting all of that and then moving it over. Uh, when I click on that, I can hold shift and, or is it option? Option, delete, and it pulls everything back. That's gonna save you a ton of time. Um, and I'm not as close as I want to be. I kinda want that 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 sound right there to show the hit right when it cuts to this scene. So I'm gonna hit uh, the B, which I believe is the ripple edit tool, and I'm gonna drag it right here. And what that does is not only it deletes the, the stuff that I'm pulling away, but it also slides it over. And my general strategy to, for the sake of consistency is I'll make each one of the um, little cuts about five frames, maybe 10 frames, depending on what I'm going for. So you could count one, two, three, four, five. Um, but now you're seeing that the sound gets cut off. I try to keep the sound in there. So I'm going to drag this a little bit more. Perfect. Now it stays inside. Um, but instead of going one, two, three, four, five every time, if you hold shift and hit to the right button, it goes five frames automatically. So now I'm gonna cut right here, and then I'm gonna click on this next uh, spot. And what's great is, since my next cut was right at the next frame, right at the next uh, sound that I wanted, I'm gonna hold option delete, and it brings it right up. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm going to pull this forward a little bit. That's about one frame. I'm gonna hold shift right, and do a new cut. And then I'm gonna hold there, option, delete. 
And this is, what does this sound like? Uh, it's just a low sound. Uh, the ripple tool, bring that to the front of the cut. Hold shift, right, cut. And then I'm gonna basically do this for the whole thing. Um, and then what you'll start to see, just in that little bit, you can start to see it kind of come together. Let me go through and do that for the rest of the shots. And so I've taken what was a five minute clip and now brought it down to about 10 seconds. Let's take a look to see how it looks. Okay, cool. Um, I feel maybe it's a bit too long though. I mean, 10 seconds is a long while. This is more effective if it's like less than five or six seconds, um, depending on what's going on. So instead, if I'm gonna make this shorter, I, I could just cut off from the end, but I kinda wanna show the completion of the beginning of the room all the way to the end. Uh, so what I'm gonna do instead is maybe cut out a few pieces here and there in between, so that way we're still getting the continuity. Um, it's just not gonna be as long as work. Uh, maybe pull a few from the middle here. Um, and you're still seeing that progression made. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, that's like seven seconds. Um, and one of the th things that I did recently on this video for the first time was that I kind of incorporated the music. So if we go back to this original one, uh, each one of these didn't end up being exactly five frames like I've usually done, but instead I had this music and you can kind of hear how the, the sounds of the chairs go with the beat of the music. Uh, let's see, I think I turned my music off, here we go. And so the way I did that was it really didn't take much effort. I kind of looked down here and I saw I've got a downbeat here so um, I can either move this, like maybe this was over too much and then this, this chair hit happens right before that beat. I can extend, this is the ripple tool, I can extend the previous, uh, the previous clip by about one frame and then that lines that up right there. And then let's say this one was too close. This little frame right here, it comes a little bit early. I can pull back and add a little bit of space before it, maybe one or two frames, and get it to line up. So I just did that. A lot of them lined up naturally um, just because music is not gonna be in rhythm anyways. Um, but then I just made the small changes so that they were lining up with the the downbeats that I was seeing in the music. So that's jump cuts, that's fast jump cuts. It's fun to edit, I think it looks really cool. Let me know if you have any questions, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other ideas for any filmmaking tips that you would like to see. Thanks so much for watching.